Welcome to the Verity Voting System Polling Place Training for the Verity Scan. The Verity Voting System includes several different polling place devices. The number and type of devices used at each polling place may vary. In this video, you will learn about the Verity Scan digital scanning device. Each Verity device is contained in an integrated case. The device case includes a label that identifies the type of device. Verity Scan has a blue S label. Setting up the ballot box. Verity Scan is a polling place based digital scanner for scanning and casting ballots. Verity Scan can be used with hand marked ballots, printed ballots marked using Verity TouchWriter, and printed vote records from Verity Duo. Verity Scan deposits scanned ballots into its ballot box for secure storage. The Verity Scan ballot box is collapsible and comes in a fabric transport bag. To set up the ballot box, position the folded ballot box as shown. Unlatch each of the four clips. There are two on each side. Pull open the ballot box. Press the side panels outward until they are flat, being careful not to pinch your hands or fingers. Lower the bottom panel, but do not press down quite yet. Release the lid by unhooking the three straps. Pull the string found on the underside of the lid upward to unlock the lid latch. Lift the lid while gently pulling upward and outward, ensuring that the double hinge is fully extended. Lay the lid across the top of the ballot box and then press it down. Be careful not to force it. Unlock the front door with the ballot box key. Then press firmly on the bottom panel to lock it securely into place. Setting up Verity Scan. Place the Verity Scan on the ballot box, aligning foot pads with the indentations. The handle on the Verity Scan must face the front of the ballot box. Locate the cord just inside the ballot box. Pull it down and away from you in order to lock the lid and the Verity Scan into place. If your jurisdiction uses a secure ballot transport bag, position this bag inside the ballot box as shown. Close and lock the front ballot box door. Open the case and remove the power brick and power cord located inside the storage compartment. Then close the compartment and case. Plug the power cord into the power brick. And then plug the power brick into the back of the Verity Scan, flat side up. Open the Verity Scan case and lock the lid brace into place. Unlock. Unlatch and remove the tablet. Seat the tablet in the cradle. Tilt it back. Lock it in place. And check the seal. Attach privacy screens to each side of the ballot box. Plug the power cord into AC power. A green light should illuminate on the power brick when AC power is present. Now press the red button on the back of the Verity Scan to power it on. Opening the poles. Check the battery 
and AC power indicators on the screen and confirm that you are running on AC power. Select Print Zero Report. Check the Zero Report. On the screen, check the ballot and sheet count, as well as the date and time. Select Open the Polls. Enter the Open Polls code, and then select Accept. The Open Polls report will print. File the zero and Open Polls reports according to local guidelines. VerityScan is ready to scan ballots when you see the Ready to Use screen. Closing the polls. To close the polls, press the blue poll worker button on the back of the Verity Scan. Select Close Polls. Confirm that you are ready to close the polls and then select Yes, Close the Polls. Enter the Close Polls code and select Accept. The Close Polls report will print automatically. The polls are now closed. Print and file reports available on the screen as required by your jurisdiction. When you have finished printing reports, press the red power button on the back of Verity Scan to power it off. This concludes the Polling Place training video for the Verity Scan digital ballot scanning device.